YouTube, it is Matty and this is potentially an awesome attack. I don't know. It's, when I say awesome, I don't mean me being awesome. I mean um, it's the first time that I get to use m the Max Hogs and Max Valkyries. If you saw my previous video for my Town Hall 10 journey, um, you will see that I did um, gem off my Hogs and Valkyries on the time to um, to get them completed. So I'm going to actually try an AQ Walk Govaho on a Town Hall 10 which, let me tell you, it's so exciting for me, really, because obviously this is my forte. It's where um, I've really enjoyed um, Town Hall 9 and doing these sorts of attacks. Um, let's have a look at the Town Hall 10 I'm going to try and take down, which is number 4, um, which is the weakest Town Hall 10 on the on the board. I, I want to give it a try. Um, and, yeah, so the plan is quite straightforward. Looking at all the point defence that's around... Um, You'll notice there's a weak spot right at the top, and that's perfect for funneling. So if I drop the wizard just to the north of the elixir pump, it should go and take down the laboratory, which is exactly what I'm hoping for it to do. Because I'm going to drop my queen, um, sort of level with the air defence, I guess, and then drop the the healers to the right of it, try and do it out of the air defence, um, the arch tower range, um, because I want her to sort of start walking around clockwise around the base, and you'll see. Um, she'll come to um, she'll come to an air defence. She'll come to a cannon. She'll keep she should keep going round. Now the only worry I've got really is that the air defence takes the healers down too quickly um, before the queen has a chance to take it down. Um, so I've got to hope for the hope a little bit on that one and maybe pop her ability if I need to. Um, but while she's starting this walk and probably as she about she gets to that archer tower, I'm going to be looking to um, pull the CC using a single hog down onto the archer tower or the air defense doesn't matter it probably the archer tower because it's a bit closer look and it's a hound loon in there so i'm then they're going to use a poison while the loon's traveling towards the queen um the queen will kill the hound and then as soon as that's sort of happening i can um allow that i can just crack on with the rest of the raid so the rest is to, i'm ho i bought a couple of wall breakers and just in case i can break her in sort of the wall down here so she can move through and get the arch towers and that sort of thing um to w once she gets down here but that'll be sort of after my main kill squad's gone in um potentially so i've got to keep an eye out for that you can see there's a couple of single target infernos of in the um in the core so i'm going to be using a free spell and i'm going to be using 10 valkyries so 10 level 5 valks i've got heals i've got a rage in case i don't need it for my queen and i've also got um T about 10 hog riders as well not minus one for the pull um so i've got nine hogs and i'm probably going to be using those to sort of help out with this archer tower um that'll be left up here and then they'll filter in towards these extra point defense um and and anything anything that's left basically so yeah really exciting moment valk's had a huge buff and um, got my freeze to try and help out as well probably going to drop my freeze um Probably to try and cover the Queen Inferno Tower and the Wizard Tower, um, and you know maybe maybe the Arch Tower. So I think there's some Teslas there as well, so I might be able to get those freeze those as well. Golem placement. I'm going straight in at nine o'clock. One Golem on each cannon. A couple of Wizards to funnel um, with a jump spell straight over that air defense to get me in, and that should be enough to just because it's a level three jump. It'll last there for quite a while. Get those Valks in. Get the things running around. You know. Um, getting into that core of that base and taking it down and just try to really ha hammer that home. Um, so let's have a quick look at the army composition. You can see two golems, um, as I said, three healers because of the healer buff at the moment. I'm able to get away with using an extra, um, an, one extra less healer because it, it, it's um, the state of the game is that it's um, there's a bit of extra free heal going around, which is perfect for me. I'm not going to argue with that and uh, i'll just take advantage of it um and yeah you can see the 10 valks and 10 hogs so we're going to see how we go hopefully it's a three star in the making it potentially i mean i'm, I'm really excited to do it so let's uh i guess stop the uh stop the chit chatting and uh go in here we go i've got a haste spell which i'm just going to use to help with the valkyries as well in fact i might use it for the hogs to go in uh we'll see Okay, so remember the wizard at the start, then the queen and the um, healers. So, wizard. Now we're going to drop the queen, sort of adjacent to there. 
and the healers. Try the reason I'm trying to drop them onto the good side of the um, air defence is because I don't want them to, co to come across the air defence. So now while that's happening we're going to drop a single hog over here. Look, get the CC pull. It's going to move back towards the um, hero, sorry, the my queen. Hopefully she's going to get out of the cannon range. That would be helpful. Um, no, she still is in it. I'm going to drop a poison down now. Look. Um, which should slow that loon down while that's happening I should be able to start the golem drop so golem 1 just over here wizards to funnel um, golem 2 over here uh, just looking at the quick I'm going to have to pop that ability wizards 1 2 over here um, we are going to drop the jump spell down in a minute I'm just going to let a little bit of funneling happen first the Golems should be good on the health. The Queen's decided to break in, which is a little bit of a worry. I'm going to drop the jump spell down. King in. Valkyrie's in. Here they go. And let's have a see what, what the Queen's going to do. The Mad Hatter going to rage over there to try and keep the Queen alive a little bit longer. Heal over here. A free spell as well. Okay. Everything is going inside now going to drop a heal down here to try and keep these Valkyries alive. Um, going to drop a couple of hogs in. A couple of hogs over here. Um, I'm just trying to boost everything through. I'm going to drop the King ability now. I think things are starting to whittle down a little bit. Um, we are running out of troops. The King's just got slammed. Um, the hogs are going in, which is helpful. Um, I'm going to drop a couple of Wizards down. I think it was the random queen breaking that's really hurt me here. Can the hogs get that inferno tower down? I don't think they're going to be able to. Um, oh, it was the queen breaking that really messed up that raid there. Uh, did not expect it, unfortunately. Damn. Um, I wish I could understand the queen path in a bit better. I thought she'd have carried on to that um, gold storage because it would have, I thought it would have been in her range um, or in a field of view, but clearly it's caught caught me out on this occasion. Um, it's gonna yeah. Uh, it looks like the um, the giant bombs. The, a lot of the Valkyries sort of pulled down the south, which I didn't expect. I was hoping they were going to stay clumped up towards the middle. Um, that didn't do me any favors either. We'll have a little review at the, the end of the raid in a moment and um, see if we can understand it a little bit better. Um, yeah, just a shame there on that one, I'm afraid. Oh, not the three star today. I just still got that haste spell as well. Um, let's have a look. Can't remember how to replay on these um, crazy new controls. Let's have a little look at how that went down. Now, I. D I guess I didn't expect the hound damage to be so high considering with well the pup damage considering um the fact that she you know there, there was only one defense hitting her so I didn't think it but I get then again I guess I only had three healers so now it sort of does make sense that that um that the pups you know her heal rate wouldn't have been as high as it could have been um I think the queen and the the, the healer placement was fine it didn't mean they didn't get in range of the air defenses but because she didn't walk around, I just didn't get much value from her. She took basically one defense down and this clan castle and then went on a death spree. Um, so I just it's just wasted troop space. Hogs could have been more helpful there to take down the extra defenses. You know, there could have been quite a lot of better uses, I guess. Um, if I'd have known she was going to break in at that point, obviously I wouldn't have uh, sent her on that walk. Um, I would have thought the golem as well would have tanked for the arch tower. Um, because I don't know why he walked all the way to the the edge of that wall and not sort of tuck tuck in by the corner, um, which is what I would have expected him to do. And you can see this is the moment here. The queen's hitting the um, the wall. Let's have a little look at the Valk placement as well and see how that went down. Because I d I purposely delayed my golem drop slightly to uh, um, allow them to sort of get in there. I should have dropped delayed the here um, the Valks a little bit. I think let the give the uh, guys a chance to get in that rage spell was completely wasted as well I, I sort of panic dropped that and you can see the valks here they all split got hit by a giant bomb there took some pretty heavy damage uh, some of the valkyries dying down the bottom i tried to regenerate them 
Um, but I think it was just a case of a little bit too late on that one. And then the ones that did go into the core, they ended up coming into the Inferno Tower um, and dying anyway. So, yeah, maybe I a rage in that core would have really helped out that. Uh, it was just a really bad decision to panic drop it as I did. Um, the Hogs did help out. I mean, you can see they uh, they took down the defences I placed them on, then got into the core, and you, they, you know they were they were really quite helpful. Um, just a few big mistakes, I think. Uh, it's a shame I shouldn't be uh, doing these sorts of things um, anymore, I guess. But it's a, it's all a learning process. Go, I haven't done a Govo on a Tower Tower. I've never had to Govo against Inferno Towers before. Um, Queen going the wrong way normally does happen, but then as soon as she hits a... I guess I kept it all a bit too tight um, on my troop spacing and a little bit too optimistic, unfortunately. So, anyway, hopefully I can bring a 3 star on the next raid. We'll try again. Hope you enjoyed this one. Speak to you on the next one. Peace.